Yeah, BoxingScene.com with the WBA welterweight champion by way of Puerto Rico, who will be facing Zab Judah come Saturday night. Miguel Cotto. Miguel, we watched you loosen up yesterday. How are you feeling days before your fight? No, I'm pretty good. I'm all right. I, I feel pretty, pretty comfortable here in New York, and I, feel, uh, and I trust in the work I do in the, the gym. Throughout the tour, Zab Judah has been saying some things about you being robotic, how he was going to come and take the title from you. Share with us your feelings about that. No, I, I work pretty hard for this title, and I'm still working pretty hard because I, I want to retain my title with me. And that's, that's the thing I'm going to do next Saturday. This is your third time at the Garden before the Puerto Rican Day Festivals. Um, your last two years, you had a great turnout. How does it feel for you to be able to do this in New York, Madison Square Garden? Uh, the, the, the last two years was great for me. But this year going to be special because, because I have a, a, over the paper a better boxer in front of me. And I'm going to prove to everybody. Uh, 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 what, Mi what Miguel can do over the ring. How has it been for you since you moved up to 147 pounds? Has it been easier? Do you feel stronger? Tell us about it. Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel better than, than 140. I, I lost, I miss, I lost uh, uh, too much weight in, 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 to make uh, 140 pounds. So is there anything you want to say to your fans, the people who are going to be in attendance and those watching on pay-per-view? Uh, to everybody, to everybody. Uh, I, I said uh, thanks to, to buy the tickets, to buy the, the pay-per-view, and they're going to enjoy one of the best fights they ever seen. Koro, thank you, and good luck Saturday night. Thank you.